Good morning, everybody. How do you feel today? Say it loud so you can hear how you feel. Let me hear it. Ah, uh, thank you for saying how you feel. My name is Mr. Channing. Would you like to read a book with me today? I'd like to read a book with you. This book is called Bully. Bully by Laura Vaccaro Seeger. I like this book a lot. This is one of my favorites. And I love reading this book at story time because my kids like it so much too. Who is this? What kind of animal is this? Looks kind of like a cow with horns. This animal is called a bull. Now, the title of this book is called Bully. Do you know what a bully is? What do bullies do? Do bullies hit people? Kick people? Call people names? Mmm. Do bullies make people feel like they don't matter? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do bullies act like they're the only ones who matter? Mm-hmm. But let me ask you, do you know who matters? Do you know who matters? The answer is that everybody matters. And that means that you matter, too. That means that bullies matter also. But if bullies matter, it means they need to stop being bullies. They need to treat everybody else like they matter, too. This book is called Bully. You want to read it with me? Let's do it. Bully by Laura Vaccaro Seeger, published by Roaring Book Press, uh, a division of Macmillan, and read with their very generous permission. Thank you so much. <gasps> the book hasn't even started yet, and something's happening. What's happening here? I see this brown bull from the cover. And here's a gray bull over here. This gray bull is making a mean face. And can you read what this gray bull is saying? This gray bull is saying, Go away! Is that a nice thing to say? It's not a nice thing to say. How does this brown bull feel about it? Can you see that brown bull's face? Mmm, that brown bull feels sad. Bully. Something I should say here is that a bully and a bull are two different things. But this book happens to be about a bull, and it's also about a bully. And those two things might be the same animal. You want to find out? Let's find out. This bull's still trying to think about what just happened. Oh, here's this bull. Now, you and I saw what just happened. We saw that that gray bull was very mean to that brown bull. But... I see a white rabbit down here, and I see a yellow chicken, and I see a green turtle. Do you think they saw what happened? Maybe not. Maybe not. They don't know what's happening with this bull. And they say to the bull, Wanna play? That's a nice thing to say, to invite someone to come play with you. What's this bull gonna say? This bull has a choice to make. This bull could say, Yes, I want to play. Or this bull could say, No, I don't want to play right now. I feel sad. A gray bull was just mean to me. What do you think this brown bull is going to do? Well, it turns out that brown bull is going to do something different. You want to find out what it is? <laughs> this brown bull got big. And this brown bull said, N. Oh, do you know what that spells? It spells no. N O exclamation point. Exclamation point means you say it loud. No. How does the rabbit feel about that? The rabbit says, <gasps> and the rabbit starts jumping away. The rabbit's getting out of there. The chicken says, oh my. And the turtle is trying to crawl back into her shell. Do you think this brown bull looks bigger than before? I think so. You think that brown bull really got bigger? Hmm. 
Now this brown bowl is really big. Look at this big brown bowl. Can you see the look on that brown bull's face? Does this bull look nice? Or does this bull look mean and angry? Mmm. This bull looks at the chicken and it says, Chicken! Now is that true? Is this a chicken? It's true. But is this bull saying it in a nice way? Or is this bull saying it in a bully way? I think... This bull is saying it in a bully way. This bull is trying to hurt that chicken's feelings. Does that seem nice? Chicken! And this chicken says, bah, bah. What's the turtle doing? The turtle's trying to get out of here, but turtles don't go that fast. That's just how turtles are. Do you see how big this bull is now? Do you think that this bull is really getting big? Or do you think that this bull is just feeling puffed up? What do you think? I think we'll find out later on in this book. Think about what do you think it is. Think the bull is really getting big or is the bull just feeling puffed up? This bull looks at this turtle who is trying to get out of the situation and says, slow poke. Is that a nice thing to say to a turtle? Or is this bull trying to make fun of that turtle? Is this bull trying to treat that turtle like she doesn't matter? Mmm. How mean. What a bully thing to do. Now, this bull, who was just being mean for no reason to the animals that were right in front of him, who wanted to play with him, has run out of animals and is now having to look around the rest of the farm to find some other animals to make fun of. Does that sound nice? Mmm, no. But this bull, I think, wants to keep getting bigger. Wants to keep getting more puffed up. That's what I think is happening. I think the bull is just getting puffed up. And it looks over here and sees what? What kind of animal is this? Pig. A pig. What color is this pig? Pig. That's right, a pink pig. Beautiful pink pig. Is this pig kind of dirty? Oh yeah. Pigs love getting dirty in the mud. Because pigs like to be in the mud because it feel, makes them feel nice and cool. Pigs can't sweat like you and me to cool off. And pigs can't go into the bathroom and take a shower or eat a popsicle. Pigs like to roll around in the mud. That's just what they like to do. But this big puffed up bull is looking in that pig and saying, Pig! P-I-G exclamation point. Pig! Do you think that's a nice thing to hear when you are a pig just trying to mind your own business? No. This bull is really big now, and there's not a lot of animals who want to hang out with this bull, so this bull is really having to look around to find some new creatures to make fun of, to keep getting puffed up. Bzzz. Who is this? A bee, a yellow and black stripy bee. Is it a good idea to make fun of a bee? Is it a good idea to make fun of a bee? Mmm. What can bees do that will make you say, ow? Can bees sting you? Bees don't want to sting you. Bees do not want to sting you. But bees will do it. If you are very mean to a bee, a bee will sting you. They won't feel good about it, but you'll feel even worse. Buzz off. Buzz off. You know what that means? That means go away. Do you remember someone else saying go away earlier in this book? Who was it? Can you remember who it was? Was it? Was it this gray bull who was mean to the brown bull way back at the very beginning of the book? Hmm. Hmm. You think that brown bull is still thinking about what that gray bull said? Even while this brown bull is acting like a bully himself? It could be. Do you think this bull is going to get even bigger? Let's find out. Let's find out. <gasps> Look how big this bull has gotten! This bull is so big it won't even fit into the book anymore! What is this? Is that the bull's nose? Is that the bull's enormous, gigantic nose? You think this bull is really big, or do you think it's just puffed up? I think it's just 
puffed up. And who is this? Skunk. A skunk. That's right. Now let me ask you. Is it a good idea to make fun of a skunk? Hmm. What will a skunk do if it doesn't like what you're doing? Will it go... And spray you with stinky stuff that you cannot wash off for a long, 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 long time? Do you want to get sprayed by a skunk? I bet you don't. I bet you don't. Skunks are not an animal that you want to make fun of. But you know what this bull is going to say? This bull is going to say, You stink. You think the skunk knows that she stinks? Yes. She stinks for a reason. She stinks so people will leave her alone. And yet this bull is getting up in her space and saying, You stink. What do you think is going to happen to that bull if it keeps messing with that skunk? You think that bull is going to get sprayed? Mmm. I think so. Who's this over here? Well, there's a skunk right here. Who is this? A goat. A goat. Now, has this bull said anything to the goat yet? No. This bull has not even noticed the goat yet. Now, the goat has a choice to make. The goat could say, well, none of my business, and could walk away. The bull has not been mean to the goat. The goat could leave. But do you know what the goat's going to do instead? The goat just saw this bull be mean to all the other animals on the farm. And the goat is going to look at that enormous, gigantic bull, bigger than a house, bigger than an apartment building. And that goat is going to look at that bull and is going to say, <clears throat> Bully. Whew. Is that true? Is this bull acting like a bully? Yes. This bull is going around calling people names, making people feel bad, making people feel like they don't matter, acting like this bull is the only one who matters. This bull is acting like a bully. And this bull is so big that only its foot, only its hoof will fit into the book anymore. Do you think it, do you think you have to feel brave to call someone very big a bully? Yeah, you gotta be brave. I bet that's scary. I bet that's scary. Do you see that big hoof? That hoof fits in the book. That's right. Just the hoof fits in the book. That hoof is bigger than the goat. What if this bull wanted to step on the goat? It could do it. But that goat, that goat feels scared and that goat says, I'm going to do it anyway. I feel brave. I am so brave. And that goat says, <clears throat> Bully! You know what that bull says? You think that bull likes to hear that? You think that bull likes to be called a bully? What do you think? The answer is no. That bull does not like to be called a bully. And that bull gets right up in that goat's face with its enormous puffed up head. And it looks that goat right in the eye and it says, But out. You know what that means? But out. It means... Just like that gray bull said to that brown bull a long time ago. You think this brown bull, even though it's much bigger than it used to be, do you think it still feels like that little small bull who got told to go away by a gray bull? Hmm. But out. Go away. What should this goat do? What should this goat do? Should it run away and be scared? You know what this bull, you know what this goat is going to do? This goat is going to say even bigger than before. Can you help me say it this time? Bully. One more time. Look up at this enormous bull. Look up at this huge gigantic bull. Look up at this very 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 big bull who's acting like a bully to everybody else on the farm. And say one, two, three. Bully! One, two, three, bully! You are acting like a bully! 
Very nice. Did you have to be brave to do that? Does it feel scary to say bully to someone who is much bigger than you? I bet it does. Now, this goat is also going to leave. This goat did what it could. This bull's got to work out how it's going to solve this problem by itself. This goat has better things to do with its day just to, than just to tell people that they're acting like bullies who don't want to listen. But I think the bull might have heard this time. You know what the bull's going to do? You see this big bull? You see this gigantic, enormous, very, 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 very large, extra large bull? This bull says, mm. Bully? Bully? Me? Was I acting like a bully? And now you remember we asked, is this bull really big or is it just puffed up? You wanna know the answer? The answer is that it was just puffed up. And you know how we know? Because now all that puffed up air is gonna come out of that bull. You wanna see it? flying around, all around the farm, just like a balloon that all the air flew out of. <laughs> and at the end, it went... <laughs> Pop! Is this bull big anymore? This bull is not puffed up anymore. This bull is regular size. Just like a good size for a bull to be. And this bull is right in front of the rabbit and the chicken, and the turtle. The turtle's still trying to get out of here. The turtles move slow. That's how turtles are. Turtles can move slow because they have a shell on their back, so they don't have to worry too much about anybody. How does this bull look when you look at its face? When you look at his face, how does this bull look? What's this bull doing? Is this bull crying a little bit? This bull says, sorry, sorry. You think this bull feels bad? You think this bull realizes how mean it was and how it acted like a bully? And it wants to apologize. It wants to start making it right. That's a good thing to do. And that sometimes that means you gotta be brave to say sorry. You know what I mean? Sometimes it takes a lot of strength to say sorry, to say I was wrong. How can I make it right? This bull is gonna say, you want to play? Want to play? To this rabbit and the chicken and the turtle who wanted to play earlier. Now, the rabbit and the chicken and the turtle, they have a choice to make now too. They can say, no, we don't want to play with you. You were mean to us. We'll see you tomorrow. Or they could say yes. What do you think they're going to say? What would you say? It's their choice. Let's find out what they say. They say, okay. And they're all, one, two, three, four, gonna go off and play together. Does that seem like fun? I think so. Look at how long this book is. What if that bull had just at the very beginning said, I feel upset. Here's what happened to me. That gray bull was mean to me, and I can't stop thinking about it. Do you think the rabbit and the chicken and the turtle could have helped? Mm -hmm. You think just talking about it could help? Sometimes. I have one more question for you. Who do you think this gray bull is? You think it's just some other big bull? This brown bull knows. Sometimes when I talk to my story time kids about it, they say, this bull is a dad, or this bull is a big brother, or this bull is a big cousin. Hmm. Let me ask you something. If this bull is acting like a bully, do you think someone was mean to this gray bull? You think someone was mean to that gray bull and made him act like a bully too? Hmm. How unpleasant. I don't. 
<laughs> oh, I see. Do you think an elephant was mean to this gray bull? No? Yeah, I don't think so. Elephants are usually pretty nice. But at the end, everyone is going to go play together. The end. Where did the other bay go? That's all the pages. Give yourself a round of applause. Thank you so much for reading that book with me. There's a gray ravine. There's a what? This book is called Bully, written and illustrated by Laura Vaccaro Seeger. Published by Roaring Brook Press, a division of Macmillan. Read with permission of the publisher. I don't want to go in your arms. <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye-bye.